Hi everyone, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Andrew the Wren, and this is a series that I'm doing where I document my everyday art practice and how I think about growing as an artist. So a while back I talked about this concept of cycling skills, that for an artist to be good at being a figure artist or a portrait artist, there's actually so many things that you need to be good at at any given time. So for example, you need to be good at proportions, you need to be good at values, you need to be good at line, you need to be good uh, at things like texture or all these different elements that kind of come together in a drawing. And one of the things that you need to be good at that I didn't just mention in that list uh, is this idea of anatomy. And so earlier in the year in January, I actually did an entire month where I did nothing but videos studying anatomy. So if you're kind of curious to see how I study anatomy or how I thought about it, um, you can go back to that time period. I think I actually had a really nice approach where I, I broke down the body into four separate parts and I spent one week on each part of the body. Uh, and it kind of made it, you know, it, it broke the study of the human body down into something that was felt very manageable and very approachable. Uh, but what I've talked about is that I actually always want to kind of be revisiting and going back to that and continuing to study um, anatomy and learning, learning about anatomy. Um, and so what I decided to do today is I noticed after my Michelangelo drawing that I finished yesterday that my leg anatomy is a little bit, let's say there's some gaps. Uh, I think I get some of the major forms, but I was noticing, for example, around the knee, I was noticing like, you know, just, just various areas that I kind of really just didn't, I was adding some cheat codes, let's say, but not really understanding the underlying anatomy. Um, and so what I wanted to do today was just find some anatomy video on YouTube uh, and uh, about the legs and just kind of copy some drawings and think about anatomy and see if I can map, you know, muscles onto my drawing and map my drawing back towards muscles. Um, and so what I actually did is found a video by David Finch, who's a comic book artist, um, who it puts out some really incredible videos. I actually hadn't spent much time on David Finch's channel until, until yesterday, uh, but I found he had a really nice series on legs. And David Finch is a comic book artist, and comic book artists actually have such a strong understanding of anatomy. Because they're doing so much invention, it's like critical for them to understand how the human body fits together in terms of like the muscles and the bones and, and all these different you know anatomical pieces. But then also like how they move. Like like if if your hero is in this position, how should the muscles be? Like how should the muscles look? Um, and they just become so good at it. Like it's pretty crazy how how well. Uh, David Finch can invent muscles in the body and it, or like invent drawings from his knowledge of anatomy. And so I copied one of his drawings. Um, I, he did this kind of, you know, in pencil and paper and like a much smaller like comic book scale. And then I kind of blew it up into my, you know, 18 by 24 inch pad uh, with graphite. And, and so I stylistically am approaching it a little bit different, uh, but I was trying to kind of capture anatomy in a similar way as he did. Um, and I came away with some really great lessons, actually. And my favorite lesson is this idea of how the knee should fit, it's like this idea of interlocking muscles and using the knee as an example of interlocking muscles. So one of the things that David Finch talks about is if you imagine there's like a tube underneath the leg and you imagine the, the kneecap is kind of like the end of one piece of that tube. So like you have the thigh there the muscles should sit on top of that tube. They are sitting on top of whatever the kneecap is actually connected to. Um, and so you actually get this like really nice three-dimensionality. If you look at the knees in this drawing, and if you even look at, at the very end of this, I kind of, he, he had a little demo where he illustrated this and I copied his little demo. Um, and also if you wanna learn more about this, you should definitely watch David Finch's video. I'll make sure I link it down below. Uh, but the, the kind of like realism or like the realistic effect you get from this is pretty phenomenal. I was, uh, I was pretty shocked at how good that this, this can look. Um, and so, you know, I did this little anatomy study. Um, I, and, and I also kind of looked at the muscles um, in the leg on, on anatomy reference. Um, and actually, what I would like to do is actually try and map the muscles back into this drawing a little bit better because I, I think I got a little bit too much into copying David Finch and not enough on copying what David Finch was trying to copy, like what he was trying to draw from his mind. Um, so there's something I could probably, a little gap I could probably bridge there. Uh, but anyway, I thought this was like a nice lesson. I'm, I'm super happy to walk away with this idea that the muscles of the thigh should sit on top of the structure that the kneecap is connected to. Um, and likewise, the same is true for like the, the muscle on the calf muscle on the back of the leg sits on top of whatever the, you know, the, the bottom two leg bones uh, are connected to. 
Uh, so, you know, the Achilles tendon, we're, 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 that piece of uh, structural anatomy, let's say. So, very cool drawings, uh, very fun drawings. Recommend that you try these yourself. Um, and I think that's everything for today. So a little more cycling of the skills. I think in the next videos, you're gonna see some recaps of me doing some drawings from life. Um, and what else? I'm not sure what else, let's see actually. Whatever kind of inspires me or whatever I feel I need to be practicing on. I'm thinking about doing a self-portrait soon, so expect one of those in the, in the near future. But that's everything for today. We will see each other again tomorrow. I hope you inspired you to draw today.